Right, it's time for Join It Interactive, and Aisha Ibrahim is here to present it. Hello, Isho. Hi. That was actually enjoying that conversation uh, of uh, baby mama saying oh. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Davide. Definitely, the child should should be Davido's own. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So, you know how to join the conversation is on facebookcom slash news on TV, and on Twitter is on Joy News. All right, and you know the rules. No harsh words. Let's keep the conversation beautiful and let's enjoy it. Now, President Ekofuado is currently in Senegal on a state visit. And as part of his tour, he will share his wisdom on managing oil wealth with his Senegalese counterpart, Macky Sall. The question I ask, if you were in the shoes of President Ekofuado, what kind of advice would you share with a Senegalese president? The president should set up uh, financial, technical, and procurement uh, committees in, a, in order to reduce or avoid financial loss to the state. Oh, yeah, what is uh, the go government? God has blessed the God has just blessed the nation with that word. It's not coming from a man, and God really want, has want to. Be, once God has blessed the nation with it, He wants every citizen to enjoy. So my advice, if I'm in the present shoe. Well, tell the Senegalese president to make sure that he had policies that each and everyone in the country can enjoy. Programs and policies which uh, we can we channel the money to the source that every person, every citizen will enjoy. So they will know the difference when we are not having oil and now having oil. So that, might, that would be my little advice to him. Okay, so a lot of the advice is on Facebook. Let's check it out. Mr. Boateng and your process, I'll advise them to utilize their revenue very well for the citizens to feel uh, within the year they shouldn't use their funds to pay the head of past presidents on buses, as Ghana did, because Ghana is a bad example when it comes to that. They should try and make the average citizen feel the positive impact of the oil within a year or two, but not to wait after 10 years like Ghana. Judicial Sudo Eric says, I'll rather advise them to put measures that will benefit the interests of the nation as a whole, such as free basic education, free health care, creating employment for the youth, etc., not the interests of the government and its party only. Them dear Simon says, I can't go in for his shoe size law. Anyway, who our voices are needless. Uh, we have a constitution guiding revenue and proceeds accrued from oil recently. There was a brouhaha of the use of the Heritage Fund accrued from oil to fund free SHS policy, contrary to provi constitutional provisions. I mean, Abdul Aziz says, I would advise them to, as much as possible, utilize the oil resource in a manner that ensures uh, inures to the benefit of the local people, unlike in our own backyard, where it only inures to the benefit of the marauding white man whose interest is only to amass wealth back to his own country. And Kuntiana Charles Harrison says, one, they should free all vigilante groups who assault <laughs> their judges. Two, okay, this is, this is, this is not the kind of advice we're asking for. And this is Kuntiana. not related to any oil. <laughs> and Uncle Job Rimpon Barton says he should tell him to put more measures in place so that the nation will benefit more from the resource they are blessed with and not allow foreigners to be the beneficiaries while citizens beg for what is their own. Bambakia Summit says, I will simply tell them that I'm still too young to offer such an advice. Oh, so they should wait until my third year in office. Wow. And he says, Delta Force Galore. Bayer Jeremiah says, I will advise the president to make corruption very unattractive to practice. Concrete policies should be put in place to show how much is accrued and how those monies are spent. Specific projects should be identified with the oil money, which the oil money will be used to finance. And Jemima Osaya Juman says he will say big, big things for four years and nothing will happen. Nana, do fight and stop Galancy. We all know it's your part. Well, but we're not talking about Galancy. We're asking for advice to a country that has discovered oil. 
All right, so those are some comments uh, on Facebook. Also, a joint news documentary, Poison on the Menu, has exposed how the pesticides used by farmers negatively affect the health of consumers. The documentary shows various health conditions that consumers endure due to the wrong pesticides used by those farmers in protecting their produce. The question I ask, what do you think consumers can do to ensure we are not being poisoned by the food we eat? Speaking as consumers, I don't really think we have any power on this is issue because we go to the market and we buy foodstuffs to cook at home and we don't really know what goes into um, the growing of the food that we buy. So I believe it's basically the government that has to bring up an in initiative to put all stakeholders involved and get them to use the right um, chemicals or fertilizers. Yeah, and also how are the farmers getting these harmful things? We also have to look at that one too. Then we come again to ask Food and Drugs Board. What do they do? What do Food and Drugs Board do? Can there be any collaboration between Food and Drug Board, Senate Board, and an Greek ministry? Can't there be integration and collaboration between them to check our farmers for us, the end users, to have good vegetables to eat? So just like my sister said, oversight responsibilities, collaboration with the Ghana Standard Board, and if they kind of um, supervise and they are sure of a safe product, they can do a label. Then I know that when I go to shop A or B or C, that label is there from Standard Board and I'm safe and I'm purchasing it. Chile can't do anything about it because we are just the buyers and we can't do without it. So we just have to make the government know because I noticed that Ghanaian government, they, they listen to their people. So if we can all just come out and tell them that it's really killing us, they could either reduce the quality of the chemical, the harmful chemicals in the fertilizers, or they reduce the policy of buying the chemicals, or they reduce the importations of the chemicals. We, the consumers, also have to make a campaign awareness to the government to provide the farmers with the necessary chemicals they need for their product so that um, these bad chemicals used by the farmers will not be used again. Because if we, the consumers, don't talk about it for the government to help the farmers, there's nothing that we can do for the farmers unless we create this awareness. Okay, so those are very interesting comments from the street, but Israel, this is very worrisome yeah. that the food we eat it's the same thing that it killers. could be. It could be contaminated because of the way they spray the chemicals on it. I think that um, we should be more careful and something needs to be done otherwise. Well, as some of the people said, I mean, how can we, because we really don't know the source of the produce that we're buying, the vegetables we're, we're using. That's, it's, it's, that's it's what worrying. makes it more it's worrying. troubling. Then, dear Simon says there should be minimal use of these highly dangerous chemicals, pesticides. Through awareness creation of the harmful effects, consumers should also ensure <coughs> proper hygiene, thoroughly washing with the clean running water during preparation, handling, and storage. Nana Kujo of Brimpong Bwansi says, looking at the rate at which we are quick to eat anything we lay our hands on, it is only better that, that more education goes into the production, packaging, and even consumption. We should pay more attention to what we eat more than any other part of our lives. By Jeremiah says we need to make good use of our backyard gardens. Farmers can also be encouraged to use manure in their farms. The use of dirty water by our farmers should also be discouraged. Abdul Fatah Abubakar says by regulating the way these pesticides flood our markets, um, I don't really think it's the flooding, but it's, I think it's how the farmers use it. It's the application. The application so the farmers should be educated and oriented on how to use some of these pesticides. The yeah, Togo says, I think the farmers should be educated on the dangers of those pesticides and should be monitored. Mama Saibu Mumuni says, many of our agri extension officers are semi literate and cannot discharge professional and technical advice to farmers. Dalenton Selassi Komaku says, we clean it, uh, it with clean white rugs, kitchen napkins or any neat rag then soak soaks being it's 
soak over, it it's if over, it's, it's vegetables or fruits. Yeah, exactly, it's trying to say. Yes, I, I'm, I don't quite get what you're trying to say. And Chris Ken says, also advise them to eat. Okay, so you're still talking about President Ekofuado. Sana Muhammad says we can eat it without any sickness if we wash it well before taking it. Uh, it it's not that easy when it comes to the pesticides. And that's why we're all scared. All right. Finally, from September this year, Vice President Dr. Mamadou Baumia has charged the Customs and Excise and Preventive Service to ensure all internal custom barriers are eliminated to promote efficiency. The electronics only uh, is a directive which will see an end to fiscal inspection of goods at customs checkpoint uh, mounted on major highways across the country. Government has directed uh, the division of the Ghana Revenue Authority to remove all barriers on the country's roads. Um, this was announced by the vice president he says it forms part of a three-phase policy reform to make ghana sports competitive on the continent it sounds intriguing uh, right let's see what you think about this new technology for me it has two sides the good side and the bad side the good side it makes um bringing in goods make it to be much easier but looking at the negative side people can smuggle goods into the country easily they might be the electronic system even the cyber cafe was even beaten and people have been robbed one dollars a day so looking at this electronic someone might beat it even human beings have been beaten even when they do thorough checking and stuff like so me doing it electronic would be much easier for things to run fast but looking at it still people beat the electronics so i think it's not good if you rather go the manual way and add we should not grow away with the amount of add electronic to the site to be 50 50 something. Um, I think it's good because uh, as a country we need to innovate. But then uh, my opinion is that it shouldn't be removed totally. There should be a balance. They should have uh, sort of a 50 50. You innovate and also keep the old system because it's a new system we are trying. You don't need to just abolish the old one and impose a new one all of a sudden. We are trying the system to see if it will work. So it should be a 50-50 thing. There's also more on Facebook. Israel, let's check it out. Bye, Jeremiah says, this can only materialize an objective um, if it, an objective achieved if only officials change their bad attitudes and go by the work ethics. This is because it's human to who it's humans who control the electronic device. We must change our attitudes. And the judicial says this is a great move to fight corruption, but wish him to to on those MTTU who always take two CDs from drivers without government benefit. Nana Kofi from Pond says this that's a good idea, but being human, the human beings will operate the machine. Hmm. It will all boil down to self-discipline. And D.S. Simon says this is a good move. Ghana loses a substantial amount of revenue through tax evasion. Abdul Fatal says innovation is always the way to go and holding on to the primitive way of doing things. And also Ansa, uh, says it's a step in the right direction. We need to get serious as a country. Afeto says we know they are businessmen, so if the reduction of the taxes in go through they must use other ways i love my ghana said kofi danso says good move hope the electronic machine is also not manipulated and uh, general says we must change our attitude ghana needs ghana needs okay that's what general is saying i think this is